Man, look at this thing! Isn't it the coolest thing you've ever done seen? Crazy awesome scorpion look. Look at that tail. What's up guys? It's King Daddy D Mac and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing here on the Alpha Tribe server, Primal Fear with Pyria, baby. So excited, doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, thank you for coming, hanging out, joining me on the adventures. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness. Man, oh man, speaking of awesome, last episode we tamed our very first two alpha dinos. That's right, we got an alpha pteranodon and an alpha triceratops so very crazy and cool i love their looks they all handle so well they all got all the awesome new abilities charges everything such super cool creatures i adore them i love them to death and man are they helpful for the early game so very good i've been going around collecting for probably about i don't know half an hour hour just all the seeds and berries that I could, just so we can get as many tranks and shenanigans as we can. It's so very good, and I got most of them all for this episode, so we can kick things off. So why don't we bring, can I fit my trike in here? Oh my goodness, you're so fat right now, bro. You're so fat, let me pick you up. Thank goodness we got this pickup matrix. It makes my life so much easier. All right, got the trike in there, very cool. And we're gonna go out and train it on today. But other awesome, cool news, we had another mod that was supposed to be in the pack and for whatever reason, didn't seem to be working very well. So let's go ahead and check it out. That is the reusable tools mod. I, I forget, what's it called? Yeah, reusable tools, I guess. We get a reusable bola, sweet, fishing rod, flare gun, grappling hook, parachute, slingshot. Man, I wish I had this stuff. Climbing pick? On the first episode, I don't know why it wasn't working right. We just didn't have it installed properly, I do suppose. But now, all these different starter tools, we only have to craft one of. A grappling hook that will last forever. Never, never gets used. It is so cool. Or a bola that works forever. Or a spear. You can just keep on chucking spears forever, and it never goes away. Or a climbing pick with no durability. I mean, these are all awesome, awesome things. So a couple of them in particular that I must have. I absolutely must have. Is this, is this, yep, reusable. Let's make our reusable grappling hook. Gotta love it. Let's make that, re is that the reusable one? Reusable climbing pick. Crap, I can't make it yet. Dang it, dang it. We got to go get some gems and the crazy woods and all that stuff. But for now, grappling hook should be good enough. I'm happy about that. Very happy indeed. Um, I've also been making some healing potions. Now, we do have the dinoid, so we can use that ultimately. But I'm going to try and avoid it for at least a little bit, as long as I can. We do get from Primal Fear this healing stew. Which, look at that, it's just some basic berries and whatnot, and it gives you 5% of your health back. So not that much, but it's cheap. So very, very cool. Man, I'm getting levels up the wazoo. We definitely set our XP gain way too high, or at least it's actually a lot lower than it was in previous seasons. But I wanted it a lot lower, and unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not. That's not the case. Not the case at all. So, yeah, after four episodes, we're already level 75. Goodness! I mean, you can just see the gain go up as I'm crafting um, shenanigans, narcotics, and whatnot. It's ridiculous! That and then the other mess up we made, just in case you're following along with the pack and the I, and I files that we're doing. We have a thing messed up their Ingrams. We wanted more Ingrams than normal vanilla. Just because it's modded, you have more things than normal vanilla. But that's a bit much. A bit much! But at this point in the season, I don't know if it makes sense. We could start over, but who wants to start over? Whatever. Whatever! But yes, if you're playing along, you might want to make it a little bit harder. Anywho, neither here nor there. Let's go out on the hunt, guys. Let's see if we can find some awesome new things today. Definitely would like more alphas. I'd like some type of grounds carnivore, you know, that we can go around like a raptor or carno or something along those lines. I don't think we're quite T-Rex level yet. I don't even think we have the 
T-Rex saddle unlocked yet, but yeah, we need a bigger carnivore. Now we tamed with Froggy Man. He got a noxious Beezle Buffo last episode. It was at the end of last episode and it was super cool. That's a toxic dino that can get knockouts and that might be something kind of useful for us if we can find a noxious dino of our own. And I think there's a version of just about every type of creature, every type of vanilla creature noxious. So noxious is just like another type of toxic creature. So that could be cool too. I'll be on the lookout, but we gotta keep it, I think at this point, to alphas and noxious. Ooh, speaking of noxious, that looks like it could maybe be one, a pteranodon, a point, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, bro. These guys are so testy and look at that. They have that crazy bone breaking ability. Who's hit, what the crap are you? Dude, it's a goblin. It's a goblin. Can I kill you, goblin? Oh, get wrecked, goblin. Get wrecked. Dude, you see all the drops he gave us? Look at this guy. He's like, I can't believe that just happened. I know, I can't believe it either, bro. That is so cool. This has got to be from the Pyrea mod. Oh, I wonder if we could have tamed him. That could have been interesting. I wonder if we get anything from him. Oh, look at that. Metal ingots. Dude, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. This Pyrea mod is very cool. I kind of wish that, I don't think it's as powerful as the Primal Fear mod. So it's kind of a shame. Most of the stuff's probably gonna get annihilated by Primal Fear stuff. But at the same time, it's pretty interesting and it might be kind of cool. Ooh, oh, I think it's too late for me to make a bola specifically for this guy. All right, let me see if I can get him. We should have a bola here, all right. I forgot to make the reusable bola. That was the next thing that I wanted to do. My goodness, can I use a bola, please? Can we make this a thing? All right, let's see if we can bola this guy. Hopefully he doesn't just turn around and attack me. Can I bola you? And he looks bola. Oh, we bolaed him. Dude, that's epic. That is epic and we got him knocked out. Oh my goodness, and it takes a dodo egg, which we got dodo kibble. Let's see, dodo. There we go. I can't, I can't imagine it being more than two. Let's just see what our, our spyglass says. How many? Just one, just one. Oh, that's epic. Dude, we're gonna get one already. Oh my goodness. All right, we just gotta keep them safe while we're taming. This is so cool. Yes, and we got it, we got it. That is epic, dude, that is epic. Let's go ahead and put them on passive unfollow. Let's pick them up, and I believe all the noxious guys you just use normal vanilla saddles for. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeedy. Sweet. Man, who thought it would be that easy? Now, this isn't the top level, but I think, I think it should be good enough. Let's bring it back to the base, and uh, yeah, let's try out our new Pteranodon. Oh, I love me some Pteranodons. Oh, it's so very cool. So anyway, meet you back at the base. All right, guys, back at the base. And man, oh man, this thing is so awesome looking. I just love, green is one of my favorite colors, red and green. And man, I just love the look of toxic dinos. They are so beautiful. Oh, just gorgeous, gorgeous. So we only got about halfway, a pretty low level one, because we can get up to 302, so it's not gonna be the best, but stat wise, I have to say it's not that bad. This is still better than any of our vanilla Pteranodons, so pretty cool, and it does use a vanilla saddle. I did upgrade it to Ascendant. I think this should be pretty interesting. Absolutely, especially if it can knock out dinos, so we'll try that out. Also, by killing that goblin thing, look at all the drops we got. It's insane. So many good drops, and look at this. These are all special. This is not even though it's using the same skins as a vanilla thing, look at this. They're all like cadaver stuff. Even the meats are cadaver stuff. So this is gonna be all probably used in special potions. That's normal metal ingots, but then look at this. Even the meat, cadaver flesh. Oh, this is gonna be awesome, guys. So we need to get going on this alchemy station. Let's see, for, for the, um, for that other mod, alchemy. And what do we need? Oh man, we need black pearls. We need more silica pearls. Those are the two main things that are holding us back, holding us back, but we'll get them. It'll be a thing. Let's throw all the shenanigans. None of it has a spoil timer notice, even the meat. So that's pretty cool. 
definitely pretty cool. We'll get to that. Oh, and let's make that bo uh, bola before I forget the reusable bola. Do not want to forget that. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So why don't we pick up the alpha patera? We'll put that on our shoulders for now. Oh, and let me throw, now that we have a reusable grappling hook, we have no need for the other ones. So, they're just weighing us down. Let's uh, get rid of them. Get rid of them. That's pretty funny the way I say that. All right. So, Noxious Patera. It's got about a thousand. Ooh, it feels naturally faster almost. Let's see. The barrel rolls. Can I spam that? No, I can't spam barrel roll. Kind of unfortunate. I really hate the arc made that change. I liked being able to spam it. I guess it's a bit more balanced. But anyway, let's try this out. Let's see what the beginning damage is going to be. The barrel roll. Wow, 619. Not bad. That kill it or knock it out. Oh, and look at that. And it knocked it out. Oh, that is awesome. 222 with the normal hit. Let's try a beaver. Come here, mister. Oh, and look at that. It does some other type of effect for, to him, too. Oh, hello, Mr. Sarko. Look at that. So is it doing torpor? Oh, it, yeah, it always does torpor no matter what type of hit you're doing. Dude, this is epic. This is so crazy epic. Look at that. Just getting knockouts left and right. This is going to be so handy dandy. Indeedy. Definitely could use a higher level one, but for now, I think it's good. I think it's very good. Beautiful. Look at that. Just getting all the kills. All right. We got tons of meats for it. Um, what does it look like? It looks like it could use a bit more stamina for sure. That is a no question. I'm going to wait on doing the melee just yet. And then health is another biggie. Definitely could use more health. Let's see what the boost. Ew, they're kind of kind of low level boost, but we'll make do. And what was the weight? Oh, and it's pretty low weight too. Pretty low weight too. All right. Our alpha is far superior, but it's still not bad. It is still not bad. You know, I wonder what you get when you kill a shark person. I'm kind of curious. And do they take any type of torpor? Ooh, they have such high torpor. Oh my goodness, such high torpor. And he is peeved with me. Oh my goodness, he is super peeved. All right, why don't we... I want to get him. I want to kill him. Really quickly, really quickly. Let's just get the alpha out, though. I think we're going to need the alpha's help. Ah, got you. Look at that. And the shark people give you all the awesome, crazy drops, too. Oh, this is going to be great for getting mana in the such. I love it. I love it. All right. Anyway, pick you back up, Brosy. Let's -a go. We want to level up our new Pteranodon. Let's turn this off. And let's see if we can maybe find a higher level one and or another type of noxious creature. I think that would be super useful to help us make... Get all the different knockouts and such. We already got a max level Tranodon. Getting more, though, could be useful for breeding purposes. That is definitely, definitely a thing. Let's see. What else we got? We got to look for green. We got to look for the crazy, awesome green colors going on. All right. Can we see any more? All right. I'm going to keep on hunting, guys. I also want to go head out so that we can get some of the fungal wood and whatnot, which should be just past the desert. So far this season, we have not ventured out of the Crystal Isles area. Out of, what's it called? Is it called? Out of the White Shawls. We need to venture further. We need to see what's on the other side. Just on the other side of the desert, we should be able to pick up a whole bunch of fungal wood, if I remember correctly. So I think that's gonna be where we head. Ooh, look at this. It's an Alpha Dillo. Oh my goodness, I have no idea what its deal is, but I think it could be kind of cool. I think it definitely could be kind of cool. I want to see if we can get it knocked out, though. How's it doing on Torpor? All right, I think we should be good to knock it out. Awesome. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let me get you. I can't remember what Dilos prefer for a kibble, for a food. Oh my goodness, what the crap is that? Dude, there's some crazy monsters. Soldier bug. Holy crap, there's some scariness around here. Oh, that is the most epic thing I ever seen, though. Seriously. Seriously, seriously. All right, we need to get some prime meats. Let's just go ahead and get that going. Um, let's see, what does this guy prefer? Let's just make sure. Yeah, prime meat is its preferred. So let's go ahead, toss that in there, get it tamed up quickly. 
and hopefully just maybe our alpha can pick up the dilo that would be amazing if that was the case all right come on brosy all right so we're waiting for him to tame i'll keep him safe let's just see what is this guy oh it's a passive tame what in the crap no that's titan boa what about this other crazy thing soldier bug kentro kibble or prime meat it's a ko tame oh that would be awesome to check out seriously awesome oh my goodness the question is do we want to can i ride you by the way access inventory all right it doesn't look like this guy's a rideable dino oh 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 that scared me that scared me holy crap the nuggets that was nuts holy crap all right let's pick up our alpha dilo i probably should just kill them for blood yes and i can pick them up beautiful 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 let's get this guy back to the base i was really hoping i could ride him like a raptor i think that would be it should be a thing it definitely should be a thing but it doesn't look like it is but either way could be interesting creature all right i'll meet you back at the base all right guys back at the base and man this thing is so awesome it's definitely big enough i think you should be able to ride it but you can't i don't know maybe someday but either way we'll get uh dillo eggs and whatnot so that's cool and it's a female and i bet you it's still pretty decent let's look at what the stats look like yeah i mean it's not bad it's not bad for what it is seriously anyway let's pick it up we can still have it on our shoulder. I bet it could be pretty awesome shooting off our shoulder for sure. But yeah, let's get it tossed over there. I got some foods in it. And I think we are goods to go, goods to go. Let's continue on our mission. Get that fungal wood and whatnot. Oh, man. And see what other awesome tames there are. I really, though, would like to get a higher level noxious pteranodon. I think that would be amazing if we could. We'll see. All right, guys, I finally made it into the aberration mushroom area. It took me a hot second. Man, you forget how big this map is when you don't have a ton of speed on your dinos yet. Holy crap, it took a hot second, but it's all rewarded with that fungal wood. Beautiful, beautiful. I just hope there's nothing too nasty crawling around here. Oh, nice. And I get tons of rare mushrooms from this, too. Oh, it's a beautiful thing, beautiful thing. All right, chop it, chop it up as much as I can. And I'll have to see if there's, I think it would probably be green gems around here. If there is any, if there is any. Did they, what do these trees give me? What do you give me for wood? All right, that's normal wood. Don't care about you. I just want the fungals. And I think that should be good enough. And then we got to go find some more gemstones. All right, we are on a roll. A great place to find mushrooms. It's fairly safe. I like -a that. I like -a that. Oh, man, this is awesome. All right, let's get back to her. Holy crap, there's a big bug. Big bug after me. Big bug after me. Run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Oh, no, I'm out of stamina. Those dumb bugs drain your stamina. All right, come here. Where's the little ant thing? I'm going to get you, bro. I'm going to get you if I can find you. All right. All right. On a roll. Let's just see if we can find some green gemstones. It's got to be some around here gotta be gotta be but man there's so much scariness around here so much craziness let's see if i can find it just right over here there's all sorts of crazy like bug monsters i don't even know what they are from the pyria mod oh beaver dam always got to stop those beaver dams early game e e go 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 oh crap there's a beaver right there i didn't see you i didn't see you till it's too late move all right oh man look at this thing look at that it's like a crazy little reaper bug look at this guy what are you called oh i don't even know a tatsel worm or something can i kill you can i kill wow he's so fast oh we got him and we got mana awesome holy cow crazy little bugs crawling around everywhere my goodness, my goodness. All right. Anyway, carry on. Let me find some gems and then let's find the next team for today. All right, guys. Returned back to the base. Dropped off all of our epic fungal wood and everything, but I still could not find green gems. I got to find where in the map they are. They might be over in the swamps. That, that could be a thing, but 
Over here is all blue crystals. Over there was all red and orange crystals. The orange ones seem to just give um, scorched earth things like sand and stuff like that. So we need to find where the green ones are. Um, let's just see what's over here. Ooh, look at the water wyvern. I don't know, we didn't mess with no water wyvern. Ooh, but it looks like we got another alpha, possibly alpha dillo over here. Let's get him. Oh, no, that was normal dillo. That was a normal dillo. I found, I've been killing across any low level alphas and stuff that I find, and they actually have really good drops. We get alpha blood, which is very much so needed if we want to get any of the armors and higher level trank and narcotic stuff. But um, they also give, it seems like rare drops sometimes. Maybe it was an apex, I don't know, of different types of armor, which was pretty cool. They weren't that difficult to get. All right, this looks like it could be an alpha turtle. Possibly. Let's see if we can get him without falling off. Come here, brosie. Come out of the water. Come over here. Come over to me. Come over to me. Let's just see. We can scout out. Is that? I want to see if I can get it. Ooh, aberrant. Interesting, interesting. That's an aberrant guy. So that's basically a vanilla guy. Basically a vanilla guy. Not what I was looking for. What about you, bro? Where are you? Nope, still a normal one. Let's try and find an alpha or an apex. Ooh, there's all sorts of dragon, wyvern, thingamajiggers. I probably can handle them, but I don't want to take the chance. Do not want to take the chance. All right, what do we got here? Another aberrant dummy? Look at you, you dummy. You dummy. All right, carrying on. Let me see if I can find an alpha for us to take on. Holy crud, even better than an alpha. This is a fabled. Yes, a fabled Bronto. These guys are pretty ins Look at that, 51,000 health. And it's only a level 30. That is insane. I don't even know if I could kill that thing. I mean, at least not in any quick type of fashion. Should we even try attacking it just to see what it does? Let's see, I'm curious, I'm curious. I'm just worried, I don't think these guys do torpor, but it's always a possibility. All right, let's see, how are we doing on this guy? Oh, he's almost done, yeah, so we definitely have some extra type of damage that we're doing. Come here, but we should get some like Fable blood or something cool. I haven't, he hasn't actually hit us yet. Oh man, look at that, 10 Fable blood. And we also got some other awesome drops. Let's look. Oh, a fabled Pteranodon saddle. That's epic. Oh, man. And some fabled blood. That stuff does spoil, though, so I got to keep it keep it under wraps, but not bad. Dude, fabled Pteranodon saddle. I probably couldn't have crafted one of those yet, but that means now if we actually found a fabled Pteranodon, we could actually have it to, to use, to keep. That would be pretty epic. Oh, I'll keep my eyes out, but I think the Fabled are pretty gosh darn rare. Pretty rare indeedy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have my hopes up for it. So anyway, I'm looking for another Poison Tyranidon, and I want to get, I think, one of those Scorpion dudes. I think that will be epic for today. They should be around. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is definitely a Poison Tyranidon, a Noxious. Oh, 291 Noxious, this is what we want, guys. That is exactly, exactly what we want. This is so epic. All right, we're gonna have to dump out some of our extra weight. For sure, for sure. All right, how are we doing? Oh, oh, he's landing, he's landing. Get that bola out. Oh my goodness. All right, because remember, we could bola him. We did it with the other one, and bola. Awesome. All right, and it should be a quick little one. Arrow knockout, maybe two, maybe two. Oh, no, we got it, we got it, and it takes the dodo. Let me see. Dodo eggs. Let's see how many it takes. I love this spyglass that it tells us. All right, just one dodo egg. Just one to tame it. Oh, my goodness, so crazy good. And I hope this guy has much better stats. Hopefully it does. Let's see the pre-tame stats. Yeah, already. Look at the pre-tame stats. I don't know if it goes... Oh, and we got it. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, much, 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 much better. All right, come on, brosy. Got to get this guy's saddle. Let's get him back to the base, and I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. This one's such a higher level. Look at that. 436. I think our other one's under 300. 
Oh, this is epic. That one's crazy cool. Way more greens in it, too. Oh, this is going to be perfect to help us to knock out our next victim. All right, guys, we are golden. Look at our new one. Oh, so much better. We actually got mate boost. Oh, we actually have mate boost with the two of them. That is cool. This one's good enough that I think we can probably go out on our own with it and not have to worry about too, too much. Not too, too much, but again, far lower stats than that of our alpha. The alpha was like crazy baller. This one's just like a small step above vanilla, but I mean, having that poison toxic effect, oh, that is priceless, absolutely priceless. So let's go, let's see if we can find that scorpion thing. I, I think it said it was Kentro Kibble. Wasn't that what it was, guys? I went and I brought some Kentro Kibble with us in case that is, just in case that was what it wanted. We'll see, we'll see as we get closer. All right, can we find one now? Oh my goodness, I want one though. It is so insane and cool looking. Where the crap are they? Oh man, we'll find one again, we'll find one. One of those crazy scorpion boss dudes, so cool looking. All right, guys, no luck with the scorpion dude yet, but I came across something even more important, even crazier. I went and I tagged this pteranodon right here. I went, I spun on him, and it didn't die. It, or it, it didn't go down, and I was like, what the crap? How good is this, this crazy pteranodon? Well, look at this, guys. It's a fabled pteranodon. Can you believe it? Ooh, and there's a scorpion guy right there. Can you believe, I mean, what are the chances? The luck, and it's a pretty decent level one too. I tell you, this thing is amazing. Oh, we gotta get him knocked out because we have the saddle for him. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. That's like, uh, that might be, it's uh, it's near top level of types of pteranodon. Oh, I didn't check though, what does it require to tame? Uh-oh. Um, oh, it says dodo egg. It says dodo egg, so who knows? It might actually work out. It might actually work out. Holy crap. Cat says dodo egg. I don't know. One can only hope. We're doing good, though. We're doing super good. Come on, just keep on doing a little bit more. Oh, my goodness. Please work with the dodo egg. This is all I ask. And don't knock it out by some monster thing that'll kill him. That would be bad news. Oh my goodness, we gotta watch out. Our torpor though, or our stamina is not gonna last forever. All right, and did we get it down? Oh, this was something I did not expect to happen. Not for a long time. Fabled's are super rare. All right, we need Dodo. Dodo egg, it says just one. Oh, please work off of this, please. Oh my goodness, please work off of this. All right, we're gonna have to keep it safe. Luckily, there's not too much sketchy around here. Oh my goodness, and we got Fabled Pteranodon. What? That is ridiculous. Oh, look at its stats, guys. It's got 41. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be insane. Absolutely insane. I can't believe we could do that in just one kibble. That was not bad. That probably would have been super hard, though, because I guarantee you can't bowl of that guy. Guarantee it, because you can't do it with the alphas. So, yeah, with that much torpor, that would have been tough. It would have been tough. We probably could have done it with really upgraded shrink stuff, but we don't have that yet. So, man, you came in clutch, bro. You came in clutch. Oh man, let's get that guy back to the base. I still want to get a scorpion though. I still want to get a scorpion. We've had enough of pteranodons for today. Holy crud, let me drop him back off at the base. All right guys, back at the base and believe it or not, the fabled pteranodon saddle really isn't, I mean, it's expensive, but it would have been doable for us, but it's still pretty nice. It's pr It still feels like fate that we got the fabled drop of an ascendant one. Oh my word. It's really pretty too. So the fabled is kind of a purpley color. Man, it feels big. It feels even bigger than the alpha. I'm not sure if that's the case. Oh my goodness, but it's so great. It can fly backwards. 
just like the alpha could as well. Let's just get some meats for it. Oh, and 12,000 off the bat. That is so crazy good. And then 4,000 hit with just the normal little bite. This thing is crazy, insane, powerful. Oh my wordy. It is so crazy good. All right, well, we have a pretty boss dino. Sweet. Absolutely amazing. Let's just put the pickup matrix on it. It's got its food and whatnot, not bad. And the speed feels really good on it too. All the base stats. That is pretty amazing, pretty gosh darn amazing. Awesome, I'm so pleased. I have the biggest smile on my face. Today's like the Pteranodon day, seriously. So many good ones. All right, let's toss it over. Yeah, it, it definitely looks bigger than the Alpha. Look at that. That is nutballs, such a good creature. Anyway, let's go back out on our poison guy. That's right, and I wanna get this dang scorpion, dude. We gotta do it, gotta do it. What is this guy? It looks kind of green too. Are you just a normal guy? I gotta stop looking at pteranodons. I'm getting way too pteranodon crazy. I love them though. They are really one of my favorite creatures. Really, really. And this one is just a beaut. Anywho, let's go get that scorpion. All right, guys, there we go. Look at this thing, soldier bug. This is the highest level one that I've seen, which isn't that amazing, but the fact that it's in a nice clear area with nothing else attacking it, I think it's perfect, perfect for us. All right, so it's a knockout tame, and this one does take the Kentro Kibble, and look at that. We should hopefully be able to get it no problem. We gotta get it quickly, though really quickly come on come on before some oh before something else goes after it all right and how we doing on it how we doing Ooh, it's getting close it is getting super duper close oh look at this guy so cool looking all right let's just get a little bit of space and oh man i gotta start nailing this guy he's taking a lot of damage a lot a lot of damage Oh my goodness, just look at how crazy he is. All right, keep on going, brosy. Get that torpor on him. Get that torpor. Oh, he's running from us. He's a running. Don't you run from me, bro. Don't you, no, 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 no. I gotta get that guy knocked out. All right, are you gonna run away? Get out of here. All right, that guy should go down with one more hit. One more nice clean hit and it should go down. Come here, bro. Oh, we don't want it to aggro at anything else though. All right, how are we doing on it? It's way high up and its health is way down, or its health is regened up quite a bit. All right, one more hit and that is it. Yes, and it's down, it's down, it's down. Oh no, look at this thing. What the crap is that thing? Okay, good, it's running away, running away. Quickly, let's get the Kentro Kibble in this. Just one, it says. All right, one Kentro Kibble. Yes, and we got a Bug Soldier. Epic. Oh, that is so crazy cool. All right, let's go ahead and put this guy on passive, unfollow. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. Awesome, we can just straight ride on it. Nice, look at that. Dude, this thing is crazy. The camera angle's kind of bad in the third person, but wow. It is the coolest thing I ever seen. I love them. Whoa, 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 what was that? That was the, was that the X? All right, hold on. There's the X, there's the C. My goodness, this thing is awesome. I love it. Holy cow, and this is only a level 100. Not bad. Let's start to pump that bad boy up. Um, Health-wise, just under 4,000. Okay, let's see how the speed feels on it. It's respectable speed. It's about what you'd expect. It's a little derpy walking, but not too derpy. And this is interesting. Look, it only has four legs instead of six. That's so cool. Get wrecked. Look at that. It just melts stuff. Come here, bro. Bammy. Oh man, I'm surprised it doesn't have like a torpor attack. Maybe one of the moves did torpor, I don't know. But that is so cool. 
He's <laughs> so awesome looking. I love him. Love him, love him. We put the pickup matrix on him yet? All right, let's put that on. Let's get him back closer to the base. I don't want nothing happening to my new awesome creature. Nothing, nothing. Oh my goodness. Soldier bug, you're awesome. Pick up and let's head home. Wow, I can't believe we did that. Yes, what an awesome day. All right, guys, back at the base, man. Look at this thing. Isn't it the coolest thing you ever done seen? Crazy awesome scorpion look. Look at that tail. Wow, it's got, I didn't notice this before. It's got like little arms there, then it has the big claws. Holy cow, and that face, that jaw. Oh, it is so, it's nasty, but it's just the epitome of coolness, seriously. My goodness, so many awesome, awesome moves. Look at that. I love how this mod has so many animations. That's what really makes it. Really, really makes it. No jump. There is a sprint. Oh my goodness. I love him. I love him. I don't care if he's wimpy. I don't care if, if he can't make any kills. Just looking at him. It is so awesome. It is so awesome. And I mean, I'm not saying he's wimpy. I'm just saying if he was, I don't care because it is the coolest thing I've ever seen that I've ever tamed in art. My God. Oh, he's just so awesome, guys. I'm loving this Pyrea mod. All right, is there, there is a saddle slot too. So there's a possibility, maybe, just maybe it has a saddle. This I do not know. I'm also not sure what it eats. Hopefully it eats meat. Let's see, it's food's down a little bit. Let's see. All right, good, it, it is actually eating normal meat. That's important. That is important. Ooh, and it makes soldier venom, pug venom. What? That is so cool. Oh, I love this guy. And we got a tiny level. We got to find an even better one. But man, what an amazing, amazing day. I love it. Look at our pteranodons. We got the amazing noxious one. You can see the size variation. In fact, let me get let me get one of the vanilla ones. I got to make another uh, pteranodon saddle. Hold your horse. Hold your horse. Let's see. Patera. All right. Bammy. All right, let's go grab a vanilla one. I just want to see if it's smaller than the poison one. Oh, and we got this little guy too. I can't forget about you. I cannot forget about you. All right, that is this. Yeah, this is vanilla one. All right, let's just see the size comparison. This does seem about the same size as the noxious. If not even maybe bigger. No, they look pretty much same size. Pretty much the same. Yeah, so the Noxious, they're just like a vanilla one, but they've got the, the toxic ability and, and better stats, and better stats. Then the Alpha, then there's a couple others, the Apex, and there might even be another one past the Apex that we kind of skipped, but then the Fabled, which I might be the biggest. I don't know if there's a Celestial version or another type, but man, look at the size of that guy. He's a, he's a giant, especially compared to the vanilla ones. It stands so much taller. Oh, it's so crazy, crazy cool. What an amazing day, guys. What an amazing day. Anyway, on that note, I think it's time to name the dinos. Let me go through the comments, and we'll be right back. We'll see what our dinos' names are going to be. All right, guys. I just finished going through the comments, and yes, it is that time. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode, and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to help out, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen for the dinos or creatures, you must be a subscriber. So smash that button and you must comment down below. Any who today's dinos, we have Alpha Trike, Alpha Tyranodon. They are Bada Boom, Bone Crusher in Deadpool. Love it, love it, love it. Awesome, epic names for our alphas. Very cool. And then for next episode, we have the crazy, crazy soldier bug to name. We have the fabled Pteranodon. We have the Alpha Dilo and two noxious Pateras to name. That's right. Oh, I can't wait to find out what all their names are gonna be. Anyway, guys, on that note, it's been a pleasure. Please remember, 
show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness and as always guys i'll see you tomorrow thanks again and peace out